Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shiva, and I'm a space operations engineer here at SpaceX, and I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission. This marks SpaceX's fifth launch of the year, our 204th of all time, and our first for the year from Vandenberg Air Force Base, which you can see on your screen. In some exciting Starlink, new Starlink news this week, Thor Industries announced it will integrate flat, high-performance Starlinks, which provide high-speed, low-latency internet while in motion into several of its RV brands across the United States this year. Carnival also announced it's implementing Starlink to provide connectivity to crew and guests. Their fleet rollouts began last month when Carnival Cruise Line on Carnival Cruise Line and Aida Talking Cruise ships, and Strong the company plans correct. to expand Starlink to several of its other brands as well. So the next time you take a Carnival cruise or cruise around in an RV, you might be getting your internet from Starlink. Now the weather and range are both green for today's launch attempt. We're proceeding with a T0 of 7.43 a.m. Pacific time. We're tracking no issues with the vehicles or the spacecraft, and we're just about uh, four and a half minutes to go for liftoff. We're standing by for the transporter erector to retract away from the vehicle. And the first step of that we will see is the clamp arms opening around the top of the second stage, right below the fairing. You can see they have begun to open around the second stage in preparation for the transporter erector or the strong back to recline. The transporty erector is uh, that truss structure you see next to the vehicle. We use it to roll out to the launch pad and to route the propellants and electrical power to the vehicle in preparation for launch. It retracts away ahead of launch to clear the way for Falcon 9's ascent. Stage one locks load complete, and stage one pogo. With that call out, we have completed liquid oxygen loading on the first stage. And at this point, we are fully loaded with both RP-1 fuel and liquid oxygen oxidizer on the first stage. We're going to hear a similar call out on the second stage shortly for stage two locks load complete. We will be attempting to recover our first stage today after launch. You're looking at a live view now of our drone ship, which is stationed off the coast of Baja, California, to catch our booster when it makes its way back home. Should hear a call out shortly here for liquid oxygen loading complete on the second stage. Stage two, locks load complete. There it is. 
and just taking a look at this rocket, you may have noticed that it uh, is lacking soot. That's because the first stage is brand new for today's mission, flying for its first time. We will be attempting to recover it on the drone ship we saw earlier, and that reusability is what allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the vehicle and reduce the cost of access to space. Coming up, the next major milestone will be Falcon 9 transition to startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. That Falcon 9 is on internal power and its flight computers have taken control of the rest of the launch countdown. LD is go for launch. And there the launch director has given their final go to proceed for today's launch attempt. So we're going to listen and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 51 Starlink satellites to space. T minus 30 seconds. Stage one propulsion is not. We're at T plus 30 seconds, successful liftoff of Falcon 9 from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg. 7.43 a.m. Pacific time. We had some fantastic views from the ground, and now we're looking at a great view Nominal from power the telemetry. first stage's onboard camera as we pop through the cloud layer. Vehicle is supersonic. Now we're traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there we are through the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's the highest stresses that we'll feel during the flight. Now we are about one minute away from several events back to back. The first of those will be MECO, that's main engine cutoff. Back engine chill has started followed by a stage separation, and then SES-1 and fairing separation. The MECO is where we shut down all nine of the Merlin engines in preparation for separating the stages at stage SEP. And then at second engine start number one, we'll ignite the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Shortly after that, we will separate the fairing halves and return them to planet Earth while the second stage continues with our Starlink satellites to space. In those events, back-to-back, -back, Miko, stage separation, second engine start number one, followed by fairing separation. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. And with that, we had successful MECO stage separation. You can uh, see the Merlin vacuum is ignited and even saw the f uh, fairing half there in the shot. We're looking at a live view right now on the left-hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's first stage. We've deployed the grid fins in preparation for re-entry. On the right-hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's second stage. That's a shot of the Merlin vacuum engine. Now those two fairing halves, we will be attempting to recover them once they come back to planet Earth and use them again on a future mission.
First stage has deployed its grid fins. You can see two of them on your screen. Those uh, periodic bursts of white gas you're seeing are from our attitude control system. We're reorienting the first stage to get the engines pointed down for its next major milestone, which will be the entry burn. Both stages are following a nominal trajectory. That call out, that means that both of the stages, the first and second stages, are on the intended flight paths. The first stage at this point is on a, a parabola headed back towards our drone ship, which again is stationed off the coast of Baja, California. The second stage, which is uh, about a couple minutes into its burn, at this burn lasting until about T plus 8 minutes and 40 seconds, it's carrying our Starlink satellites to orbit. The Starlink mission marks 204th mission for SpaceX overall and our fifth mission for this year. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed and low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Both stages are still on a nominal trajectory. You might have noticed that the first stage's altitude is decreasing. That makes sense because it's heading back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. The first stage's next major milestone is coming up in about 20 seconds. That'll be the entry burn, where it'll light three of its Merlin 1D engines to slow down for atmospheric reentry. Stage one, entry burn startup. There is successful ignition of those three Merlin engines, this burn lasting about 20 seconds. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Successful shutdown of those Merlin engines. major event on the first stage. Stage one FTS is saved. The landing burn start just after T plus eight minutes. Stage one, transonic. With that, that means the first stage is traveling near the speed of sound. We've got a few events coming up back to back here. First will be the landing burn on the first stage. That burn will continue until the first stage lands. During the landing burn, we'll also hear a call out for second engine cutoff number one, or SECO one, on the second stage. Terminal guidance. Stage one, landing burn. Started a single Merlin engine on the first stage. We'll expect to see the landing legs deploy shortly. Stage two, FTS is saved. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. Back Successful down. landing of Falcon 9's first stage. 
You also heard a call out there for MVAC shutdown. Now, this landing marks our 166th overall landing of an orbital class rocket that includes both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy Dominal missions. Orbit insertion. With that call out from the guidance team, the second stage is in the nominal or intended orbit. The second stage is carrying our 51 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. And with that, we are going to bring our webcast coverage to a close for today. Expected now, if you're interested in following along with our mission, we're going to keep our nets live on YouTube. And, of course, you can check out our social media platforms for confirmation of Starlink Deploy. Thank you for tuning in today, and we'll see you for another launch soon.